Okay, Pokemon Omega Ruby hard Hardcore Nuzlocke, Moss Deep City Gym. We're gonna do the whole gym. I'm gonna record the whole gym because otherwise I will be literally recording a one-turn battle against Tate and Liza because they only have two Pokemon. And I have a, Malo a Malotic, my favorite water type Pokemon, finally after 13 years, and a Septile who are gonna destroy their two rocks in one hit. Um, in the meantime, since the last fight, I got a, 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 a Staryu, future Elite Four member. And obviously, these two guys are also future team members. I, you know, transferred a uh, Pokemon Nexus Pokemon. Uh, yeah, no more, not, not any more deaths. I got these guys in the Safari Zone, one for each area. This and this, this is a strong candidate for Elite Four rematch team because I love it. I love it's Mega so much. Whatever. I got this little guy, but who unfortunately cannot evolve in Frostless. But maybe I'm gonna have fun with Mega Glalie. And um, yeah, these guys are all good level. Uh, yeah, the rest of the guys and uh, the main squad for the for the gym. Quite fittingly, half Hoenn Pokemon, half Kanto Pokemon. Quite fittingly. Okay, so Sapphire was my first Hoenn experience, right? And I remember, bro. Yo, hi, how's it going champ to be Alex? The gym leaders here use psychic type Pokemon. If you go up, if you go up against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, they'll do horrible damage to your Pokemon. They'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. Thank you, man. So this is this gym redesign is super sick. Look at this. So cool. Anyway, we're going with Tomorrowland. Who's also a league team member? Yeah. Taught him Shadow Ball. I couldn't get the the spell tag, which is the the ghost type move, ghost type. Uh, Oh, item battles animation, of course. Wow, Shadow Ball doesn't kill. Crunch would have. Anyway, I couldn't get the the Ghost type boosting item because it's on Wild Shuppets, five percent something like that, and the Wise Glasses, which are one of my favorite items in the game because they just raise ten ten percent uh, special attack power. They are also on Pokemon, on Wild Pokemon, I think. So I did I didn't bother trying to get them I don't I don't quite need them but so I had to give Exploud and Wigglytuff some uh, just lesser items now I love this gym in Emerald right because it's all double fights really really hard you really need to pay attention all the time and the fight against Tate and Eliza it's such a freaking wrong killer even if you chose Swampert it can be still very hard so Shadow Ball doesn't kill Crunch it's gotta kill. Psychic does not kill. Not even as a crit. <gasps> Holy. Okay. Well, good thing we have backup, right? I got a Shell Bell in the meantime. Madicham. Madicham, man. Can't prepare it. Madicham is such a cool Pokemon. So yeah, in Emerald, this, this gym is super, super hard, and I, lo I love it exactly because of that. That's an actual strategy, right? What this Magicham just did with the high jump kick. The only thing I'm going to give my, my own Magicham white lenses for when I'm going to do the the league. I'm going to give him the white, the speed rose. Mm, that's scary. Power trick. Oh, that's such a bad... Anyway. I was saying, yeah, rock slide, Zen headbutt, high jump kick. They all, they all have not 100% accuracy. So uh, wide, let uh, the, 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 the 
do, 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 the wide lens there, the thing that Gyarados has, is gonna be really, really, really good for Madicham. So that I don't lose him. Okay, so as I was saying, Sapphire was my first horn experience, and I remember getting stuck at Tate and Liza because I just couldn't beat their Pokemon, right? And so they, Sapphire, in that respect, in that in that regard, owes me a fight, which is why I'm I actually do want to play the original Ruby and Sapphire to get past that wall of my childhood. But then, Claydol, another one of my favorite Pokemon that I actually wished I had, that I still have to bring to the... I'm gonna go for Moon Burst, screw it. One of my favorite moves. Okay, anyway. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Clayro, one of my favorite Pokemon that I would love to be to bring to the to the league one day in in any game that it appears at. Sleep talk, new. Nope. Star me. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. This guy has really good taste. Uh-oh. Scary. Scary. Let's get Sceptile to level 45. Starmie is going to be a league member for sure. Most likely than not. Let's say, like, not... It's not guaranteed, but most likely than not, it's gonna be a league member. League member for the first round. Not quite sure for the second round. It's one of the best Pokemon to bring to the league for. X Scissor. Uh... No, it's not even worth the. No, no, I don't need it right now. Rock Tomb co has better coverage. And even in this this particular gym, I don't even need it. Uh, yeah. Yo, this, this gym got such a sick redesign. I've been praising the graphics of the game so much during this, this adventure. They did such a good job in my opinion. With the graphics. And it's always interesting to go to the psychic gyms because they're also connected to the ghost types and, and you know psychic is such a widespread type. It has such interesting lore. So you can do a lot of you can do a lot of very, very creative things with this type. Boom! Silk Scarf boosted Boom Burst. What a great move. Too bad that Altaria doesn't learn it because it will be, it will be so broken. Pixelate Boom Burst. Pokemon Showdown stab on stop a thing. That that's exactly why I love this move, right? Because because of stab mods and stuff like that. Hyper Voice is cool, but man, Boom Burst or Altaria with Pixelate, it will be so stinking broken. Yeah. Anyhow, Grumpy is another Pokemon that I brought to the league in, in in Hoenn in Pokemon Emerald. My 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 first my first ever Pokemon Emerald League. Yeah. Fun time. That was the that was the time where I, when I discovered that Ghost type moves are physical in this generation. 
Okay. Look. Oh, there's fire. That's so cool. Okay. And where do I go? Okay. Chimaco, another one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> what a great gym this is. People don't like don't like Chimaco. I don't. I disagree. I think it's one of the cutest Pokemon around. It's a bell chime. So what? In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it's it's stinking scary when you have to do, fight the Wigglytuff Guild with Chimaco with helping hand and stuff like that and it's such a scary Pokemon in the gym. Okay, what else? Okay. That's it. Did I fight them all? Not this guy. Yeah? I cannot go. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, this is so cool. Ah, here you guys are. These two rascals, these two problems here. The killers of so many runs. All right. All right. Level cap 45, right? I didn't even take it so seriously. Because again, this fight is going to end in one turn. I didn't even bring him to level 46 or anything like that. I took it super, super chill. This is the chillest. This is the most chill gym of the run. Which is ironic because in Emerald it's like one of the hardest gyms for sure. If not the hardest gym. Regardless, let's let's just go. With our new team member Milotic. And Septa coming back after so much time without a gym fight. Two of my favorite Pokemon in action. What a great, great gym. <laughs> I cannot do okay. I'm gonna try to do echo. Hey, we're surprised. We're surprised. We're surprised that there are two gym leaders. There are two gym leaders. There are two gym leaders. We're twins. 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 We don't need to talk because we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. The combination of ours. Can you beat it? Oh. Whoa. Yo. They're flexing on us so hard. <laughs> Versus Liza and Tate. Lunaton and Solid Rock. Two Pokemon that gave me nightmares as a kid because of Sapphire. But here, Symphony and Commander. So many nice Pokemon in this episode. Look, Solid Rock, one of my favorite Pokemon. My Lord, except two of my favorite Pokemon ever. Lunaton is, Lunaton is okay. All right, and that's one. Please, my lord, come through. Come on, bro. And that's two. Not a shot. Not a chance. Easy. Easy. Our teamwork. $10,000. <laughs> it can't be helped. You won. So take this in recognition. So many nice Pokemon in this gym. The mind badge. Well, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And now, finally, Calm Mind. Finally, man. One of the best moves. And we can use dive. Thank you. Harsh ordeal ahead. Yep. Thank you. That's encouraging, but. Teleport. So, as I was saying. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, finally, okay, we can evolve star me. Because you can, ooh.
<gasps> Yo. <laughs> Yo, okay. Gotta do this now. <laughs> Whoa, dude, seriously, dude. It's the end of the world. That's so. Big fat pillar of light. Steven. Steven. Alex. I heard from little Liza and Tay that you visited their gym. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Okay, story stuff. I'm gonna... No. Let's, let's do this. Give me time to win. Give me time to ch celebrate my win. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to a war right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now? The eardrum rupturing explosion we, we heard? They are proof that a seal, which was long hidden deep under sea, has been, done and has been undone at last. Hmm. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient, ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to the cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or, or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon, and once they do so, it seems they hope to make its power their own. Alex, if that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it'll upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis like... Uh, Ah. Thank you. Okay, finally. Start me. I'm coming. The scuba gear. What? You know, one of the biggest questions I have, right? Why do, why doesn't he recruit like more more trainers, right? Like like Wally or even May would be super cool to have here. The 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 thing that the manga does with Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald and Emerald chapter is absolutely amazing. It's not as good as as the GSC chapter, but they're all so good. Every single chapter all the first three chapters are are stinking amazing. And it, and it's a little sad that they don't they don't put they don't translate any of that any of that branch of the franchise into the games, but regardless of that, we won the seventh badge, and now we just unlocked on a lot of new encounters. So I'm gonna save here, and we're gonna come back to this eventually. Moving on. <laughs>